A few days back I made and posted a video about behind the scenes of my art market preparations and today I wanted to show you how it actually went. So, as I mentioned, we took a train from Amsterdam to Tilburg where the market was taking place. Early in the morning on Saturday, the market was two days, so we were arriving on Saturday and leaving on Sunday evening. Uh, we were traveling with two bags, two very big and, and heavy bags, and with our small but very energetic dog, who surprisingly behaved very well on the whole train ride. Sadly, there weren't any direct trains. We had to change trains uh, to go to Tilburg, which also cost us a little bit of delay. I think we were the last people who arrived at the place and we started to set up the stand. The reason why you might ask uh, our suitcases were that big is because I had many different products, as I mentioned, and some products were really bulky and were just taking up space. Um, I will show you. So, as you can see, uh, the puzzle boxes take up a lot of space. They're also pretty heavy and we had many of them, which is the reason why it was also heavy. And not only this, because we also had uh, water bottles that I illustrated, a bunch of prints. Uh, you might not think so, but when you have a lot of paper, it's really heavy. And um, yeah, all of that took a lot of space and as we were making the suitcases the night before, which was also kind of last moment, it was only on Friday night that we realized we actually have to carry so many things. And uh, when we arrived, the space the art market was taking place at uh, was a really beautiful shared I think it was co-working space for artists, which I think created this very nice, relaxed and special atmosphere. There were many different artist studios there. There was a really nice glass roof that let all the light in. Uh, we also got pretty lucky because the weather was very nice, which doesn't happen often. And um, yeah, so the circumstances were really in our favor. Yeah, we set up the stand and we decided how we want to display the products, which we really didn't have a plan for, so it was sort of in the moment decision. Something that we have a lot of talks about were the prices. And the very funny story is that we went with um, Pedro's idea of making very big, quite flashy price tags on the products. That ended up looking horribly. And um, yeah, we are both laughing right now at, uh, at this because um, it wasn't really a good idea. Please don't do it. I think all my colleagues at the, all, all the fellow illustrators at the stand knew that and they made the prices very subtle, very delicate. Uh, you can see the, the huge prices in the, in the videos. So that was definitely a mistake. We corrected it the second day. And um, yeah, the, the art market started at, uh, I think, 10 a.m. in the morning. We were there until 6 p.m. And I have to say, it was a really great experience. I got to meet uh, many fellow illustrators, people who I was following on Instagram, and it was really nice to finally meet. I would say that those, um, the, this opportunity to meet personally face-to-face -face with people you know from the internet is really a nice experience. We don't get um, so many chances to meet each other in real life, so that was a perfect opportunity for that. I really like and enjoy talking to everyone and, and just sharing our experiences. I think my absolutely favorite part about the art market experience was um, all of the people, all of you who came to my stand to tell me that my YouTube videos are helpful and the huge number of people who came to say that you participated in our Planet Week, which was also incredible and amazing. And I really enjoyed uh, just being able to talk to you in real life. So that was, for me personally, the best part of it all. As the space wasn't very big, there weren't many of us displaying our art and our products, but uh, the atmosphere was really cozy and, and, and really nice and really lovely. And I think there were quite some people visiting the market, especially in the earlier hours. So the overall market experience for me was really great. Uh, everyone was super nice, very open. It was also great to talk to fellow illustrators. And as a market tradition, we did exchange some of our prints and products, and that was really fun. 
I know that some of you asked me a question how it is uh, when it comes to money and to sales and if the, if the investment pays back. In my case, it definitely did. Uh, even if you take into account that we went and spent the whole weekend in another city and we stayed in a hotel, which by the way was really nice. Even when we think about all the transportation, all the train trips that we made between all the cities and all the towns. So in my case, yes, the, the investment uh, paid back in this in this sense but it's not something definitely that I would do to make money but just to have good time so I will leave you now with some images from the art market so that you can see for yourself how it was um, I really had great time um, I would love to hear your story so let me know please below if you ever participated in art market how it was which one was it where it was how it went what do you think if you will ever repeat the experience if you would like to uh, take part in more art markets. Um, one more thing, I know that many of you wanted to visit me but finally couldn't uh, make it to the Illustrator art market, so please check out my website because everything that I was selling in the, during the market is actually there uh, in my online shop. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing from you and I see you in the next one. Bye!